minute call. This is your five minute call with Cecily Stovall. Today we have on the line Glenn Turner. His top five are as follows. Number one, he is originally from Mission Viejo and Temecula, California. He went to Pepperdine and Cal State Sacramento for college and he did his master's work at University of California, San Diego or UCSD. He is currently the production stage manager of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. He was the production stage manager for both revivals of How to Succeed. He also did Priscilla on Broadway. He did Color Purple and Dirty Dancing and just left us on the national tour of Book of Mormon. And number five, he has actually been through black hair school from the Book of Mormon and he knows that he's not supposed to touch black people's hair without asking. And if you didn't know that, well, he can tell you all about it. But we welcome Glenn Turner. How's it going, Glenn? <laughs> Great. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Oh, absolutely. Um, we'll just jump right in. The first question for you is, can you tell us a little about your journey from high school in California to college to where you are now? Uh, yeah, I, actually, I started uh, in high school. I had no idea that I ever wanted to be involved in theater because that was not necessarily a part of uh, my school. I had a very small school and the only thing that we had that was theatrical wise was we put on a show every year. And it was by sheer accident and because I thought it would be an easy way to get out of my classes, um, I would t I would be in the, the school play. I never thought it could be actually a career. I just I always thought it was um, just something fun you would do. So I went to Pepperdine um, and I was going for biochem uh, pre-med because I, wanted, I thought I should be a doctor. I, but all my uh, extracurricular things were involved with the theater because I met, I met some of them and we started hanging out. And I, and I had to kind of reevaluate what I wanted to do and I quit school altogether and just worked around just trying to figure out. Then finally I thought, you know what, I probably can make a living at this if I just go to school. So I went to went back to school to Cal State uh, Sacramento and got my degree in lighting design. I designed a show and had to take over for the stage manager. Uh, it, because she got sick, it, basically mid-show. That was my first first time I ever even thought about being a stage manager. So my professors at uh, Cal State Sacramento encouraged me to go and get my master's because they, you know because it would just give me more opportunities. And you can never have too much school, as far as I'm I'm concerned. So then I went uh, went on to UC, uh, UCSD uh, to get my master's and. Felt, you know, you know, got got it in stage management and theater administration, and then fortunately I've been working ever since. What for you was the breakthrough moment? I mean, I know you kind of talked about it a little bit, but what was the moment that you knew this was really what you wanted to do? I think it was, you know, actually when I was in grad school and I got hired for my first professional job because I was hired as a designer before, but this was what I decided to do, and I got, and suddenly it was like, oh my God, they're going to pay me to do this. And that first paycheck is like, Oh my gosh! And it was like probably probably like one hundred and ten dollars for you know four weeks, but it was still being paid being paid to do something that I thought was fun. So, what's the most memorable moment you've had as a stage manager, either on stage or off stage? Well, not really on stage, but off stage or truly my most memorable is the fact that when I was working on the Who's Tommy at its its out of town tryout at La Jolla Playhouse, and I was working with Pete Townsend, which was because they were my, the Who was my heroes, were my heroes, and he introduced me back backstage to Roger Daltrey, so I think that's kind of like, you know, it doesn't really get better than that. For those of you who don't know who the Who is, please Google them. They're, they're still kind of around. Um, <laughs> so you guys have homework, Google the Who. <laughs> um, and our question four, we're going to go back to the old classic. Tell me, what is your favorite pizza topping? Uh, jalapenos, if you haven't tried it. Just cover it with jalapenos and cheese. It is the most brilliant thing you can ever do to a pizza. Uh, okay, we'll take your word for it. Any particular place you like to order pizza from? Um, well, I'm Ben's in Soho is the best pizza there is. Uh, if you go to Chicago, there's so many. What uh, are you Giordano's or Luminati's? Well, I'm, I actually Luminati's because I do like New York style, so I like the thin crust and uh, Luminati's, whatever it is, Minati's. Edit this out. Um, it, <laughs> um, he that is he. Um, they do a great thin crust and they cut it into the squares. Yes, good point. I do like a square pizza. 
And the last question for you is if you could go back in time and give your 16 year old self one piece of advice, what would it be? It, it just do what you want to do for yourself rather than for someone else. It's like, you, you, number one, you can do whatever you want to do. And just don't worry about what other people think about what it is. So, you, you know, because I'm, you know, not that I wasted time doing, seeking another career, but I could have been, you know, moving in the right direction and feeling better about what I was doing. So I just, you know, do what you want to do, what you want to do, and don't let other people's advice or what you think that they want, you know, dictate what you say or in do, say and do. Well, thank you so much for that. Billy. Oh, my pleasure. I mean, that's that's great. I love what you're doing, and you know, whoever watches this, just you know, follow your passion, do it. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my well, pleasure. Thank you. Well, we'll um, let you get back to the show tonight. We know you have. Yes, lots we have of curious you know, incidents with dogs in nighttime. Yes, <laughs> a lot of them. There are, you wouldn't believe how many we have. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for taking time for the five-minute call, and we will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.